afternoon. It, is it actually morning? Oh Lord, it's morning. I am up early. It's, it is 1047. I don't know what day it is, so who cares? But I am feeling very crafty. And over the last couple of weeks, I have been going to the stores and grabbing like random stuff to craft with, whatever I pretty much see. So now um, my arm already hurt. <laughs> I'm sitting on this chair too, just in case you're wondering. And I got my holiday onesie on. It says happy holidays on it. And look at my tummy. I'm starting to look pregnant, you guys my little tummy but yeah um i was feeling crafty i had my niece bring everything out my car and i don't even remember what's all in this but i told myself i'm gonna get my life together at least take everything out and see what i have the other day i actually had my friend go take me to michael's because i heard from some of these other people when i used to coupon all the time that they that Michaels had the $4 grab back. So I was like, take me to Michaels. And she did. So I actually did find some grab bags. I only found three grab bags. And I seen this one and it has a lot of floral in it. I don't know exactly what it looks like, but it was $4 a bag. And I was like, that's a lot of flowers. I'm pretty sure I can make something with that. And I bought it as well as this which is really good i'm clearly not gonna keep it like this i'm gonna end up taking those leaves and things off but i got this for four dollars and look how much i saved this is fifty dollars by the way this is too much for fifty dollars like they are doing too much yeah i just kind of want to see what i have and do it on camera child so let's see what we got all right so this is probably as good as it's gonna get because I'm not finna be grabbing no soft box and lighting and all that stuff. So let's hope that you can see everything. But this is everything in the pal. Let me set some stuff on this little bench right here. It's another grab bag too. See? You know what I mean? Line. Alright, so you already seen this one. Uh, I don't know what I would do with this. I was thinking about creating one of those little like flower picture frames. And whenever we come up with a name for baby Isaac. Uh, we will probably put her name in the middle, but I also want to make her room thing like very Flowery majestic fairy tale uh, whimsical a lot of greenery like I just want it to be like just like a like a beautiful fairy tale jungle or forest I like forest better so i don't know so that's why i'm just grabbing random flowers and as i come up with ideas of things i'm gonna just go ahead and start like doing them but my problem now is i'll start something and can't finish it so i don't know but if you don't follow me on instagram you don't know that i was making like this little like chandelier boho thing and it's like i'm trying to figure out a way how to meet whimsical forests with a little bit of boho chic. So, I don't know what I'm gonna do, but I'm gonna do something and it involves flowers, for sure. So this was definitely coming to handy. Ooh, these actually pull out. Oh, look at that. I know my hand's ashy, but I'm not gonna get up and put on lotion, like, this is nothing new. But look at this flower. You know what this kind of reminds me of? Like, um, very bell like if you like uh what's that what's that um beauty and the beast yeah when they had the little rose or it was a rose it's not a rose clearly but had the rose in a little like thing and yeah that would be cute a cute idea too so i like how that pulls out that's so awesome oh i'm so excited if you bought these separately they're so expensive so to get this for four dollars for these flowers can't wait next I bought this because you know how I'm going with that little whimsical thing I felt like I can use this for something I don't know what but maybe put it like a little vase or something like it wouldn't be this long so it definitely would be chopped down but I know I can use this for something and even this you can frame like a picture and put like a bunch of them together and just hot glue them next oh by the way I got like I said, I got the purple flowers from Michaels and that greenery flowers I got from Hobby Lobby. 
this bag, I know it's from Hobby Lobby. And like, Hobby Lobby was having like, I think it was like 50% off of their like garlands and greenery. So I got two of these, which is green leaf garland. And this is $10, that's how long it is. And it splits, and I was gonna wrap this around something, but I got it for five dollars because it was fifty percent off. And I got two of them. They smell like plastic. The next thing I got in here was oh, I don't even remember these um sparkly thicker alphabet. I was planning on doing um Chanel inspired like books or whatever as decor in my makeup room. So I'm gonna paint book covers, matter of fact. Oh, they're right here actually. I went to the Dollar Tree and bought random books that I knew I wasn't gonna read. But I only bought two different size hardcover books and I was just planning on painting them, which is, here go black paint. Why did I buy black paint? Oh, I might have fluffed up somewhere. I bought black paint and white paint. I didn't I didn't really pay a lot for the paint. I think the paint was like a dollar. Look, it's a dollar ninety-nine for this big black paint. And this was like 130 something for this white paint. And this uh stencil was 40% off. So I think I got it for like two dollars and like twenty cents or something like that. I also bought this little like doorknob or a drawer pulley thing. And I actually bought this for, if you see way back there, there's a, a lamp that I got from Goodwill. $6.98 for this lamp. I was gonna paint this white and change out this, but I bought the knob before I bought this. So I don't even think that this would work together. But I was gonna spray paint either white or silver. Oh, looks like I got more flowers from the Dollar Tree. You guys, if I can achieve what I want to achieve, it's gonna be so pretty. What is this? Oh, I know what this is. This is the the pots that I got for the teapot lamp for the for Goodwill. So, here go one of the pots I got. You guys, this is black. I don't front on Goodwill. Look at this little glass teapot so i'm gonna end up spray painting this white i only paid 2.98 for this so anytime you want any type of pots plates or anything like that check with goodwill because goodwill actually have they have a lot of new items that has never been used so people are like oh don't go to goodwill don't go to thrift stores goodwill is a good place to shop don't front on them the next thing i got is this little teacup or is this a teacup or is this a little, I don't know. Which I was gonna spray paint too. I paid 118 for this. And this was gonna be the base of the teapot. So it's gonna be like this. Next one I have is this little other, can you see that? I ain't really crazy about like the design. When I was going to the thrift shop, I was looking for stuff that actually can stack on each other. So you see how that kind of stacks on top of each other? So you can turn it whatever way you want to turn it. And this is another one, which is doesn't have a handle on it. All of this will be painted white and stacked on top of each other. That last pot was 198. Alrighty then. This bag, I know, is just the moss I bought from Hobby Lobby. And I seen this like whimsical chair on Pinterest. And this bag is $7.99 and it is 525 cubic inch of actual Spanish moss. I seen like this whimsical chair on Pinterest, so it was a YouTube. But somebody just like hot glued a bunch of this to like a stool to match their whimsical theme and I thought that was so cute. And also I've seen Spanish moss put in like bases for the bathroom and stuff like that. And I kind of got this brown spa-ish thing. So I, between making a chair maybe or um, putting this inside a vase or something like that, 
maybe I can put like something together, but that's what Spanish moss is. This will go a long way. So I guess we can go ahead and go to my most exciting one because I have no idea what flowers are in it is the $4 grab bag from Michael. So let's rip this open. Oh, it has, oh, this is already a good deal. So if you see that, this was $10 and it has a cotton bloom on it. So I'm already saving money. And there's a bunch of them. Um, one, two, three. So that's $30 already. That can be like a bouquet bouquet. Look at that. Four. And I'm gonna just end up popping these off. Here you go, this one. This one's really pretty. How many of these I have? I have four of these in my hand. So that's $40 already. What is this one? This is $10 as well. Look at those. Oh my God, I'm so excited. So $50 already. 60. 70, so I have two of these ones. Look, you go to Michael's, bruh, stop paying all these monies for the bouquet. You could literally wrap this in ribbon. You cannot tell me that this do not look like a wedding bouquet. Dig some of these in here and walk down the aisle. You gonna tell me and put a silk band around this of the color of your dress and walk down the aisle like this. So you telling me you gonna question this, what this looks like, and put some diamonds in here? Bruh. Or this can be bride maid's bouquet. Put two of these together. If, if it was my wedding, I would get each bride maid one of these. Wrap it in the silk ribbon, hot glue it to the thing, make sure these are even. Girl, you are done. Done. I got another one another one it's like i died and went to floral heaven and these two of these purple ones so if your theme was purple i would like take a couple of these off and put these in here instead of playing these floors like um all this money like 50 dollars for the bouquet no take cut this little band off right here this is ten dollars to a piece cut this little band off put a couple of these in the middle Three of these, bomb, you are done. That is your bridesmaid's bouquet. So this is 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. You come in, $90? Anywho, the next thing, I don't even know what this is. No more. Next thing I got was this. From the Dollar Tree. So basically, I got this too from the Dollar Tree. Can you see that? As you can see, I already had some old ones from last year, but I actually lied. The doorknob that I got wasn't for the teapot thing, it actually was for this. And I was gonna hot glue this or E6000 this for the bathroom. And I got this as well from the Dollar Tree, and I'm gonna turn this into a lid. Clean this really good. Drill a hole through this, and this was gonna be the top to this. And that just looks like something I paid a lot of money for. Some of these I'm probably never gonna open again, so I could really eat 6,000 this on top of it as well. All right, so the next thing, I don't even know. Oh, I got another four dollar grab bag. I wasn't too sure about this, but I seen this at, a, uh, at the first Michaels we went to. But I seen stems and I knew it meant flowers, so I grabbed them, so. I should have looked at them. This bag looked open. Ooh. Okay, so. This one big flower is $13. So I already got my money back just with this one flower. I don't know what I would do with this, but something I'm pretty sure. This is really cute too. This was seven dollars, and this is—is is this the little Honduras flowers or 
I don't know what this is called, but this and this came in the same grab bag. And also this one right here, which is $7. This look a little expensive to be $7, but whatever. And $6 for this one flower. I guess the theme of this one is to be really tall, so that's probably why they're expensive. So this, all this grab bag was $33, and I got it for $4. So, so far, just from the grab bags alone, I only spent $12 for $124 worth of flowers. Okay, so the last bag I have is the Dollar Tree. And here I got two of these bags, which is, I think it's supposed to be like eucalyptus or I don't know, I don't know. Or maybe this is supposed to be like a Spanish moss too. So I got this. Not all Dollar Trees have these, uh, they're either sold out or don't just sell them at all. So I actually went pretty far to get this one. Ooh. I guess I got this. These rocks, which are really pretty. They're sparkling rocks. I guess I could put that inside of this thing right here for the bathroom. So that's probably why I got it. And the last thing is this container. I was gonna make um, one of those flower boxes. So I was gonna paint, spray paint this and then put these type of flowers on top and put this in my makeup room. All right, so I think that's gonna be all for my little DIY craft haul situation. Uh, I just wanted to show you guys everything that I've gotten and have picking up and all my ideas. Hopefully this has given you a little bit of inspiration what you could possibly do and possibly some of the stores you should really be checking out to do some of these things because DIYs really should be inexpensive. It shouldn't be costing you a lot of money to do these things. So uh, yeah, I guess that's going to be all for this video, please check out my Instagram. Be on the lookout for some of the DIYs. I'm going to try to do better in posting some of the stuff that I do on there. So please, um, that's one of the most places outside of YouTube that I am actually on. And make sure you, if you haven't already, please like and subscribe and turn on post notifications. And I will see you guys in the next one. Mom.